Hello everyone, welcome back to Base Damage. I hope you're all doing well today, and today we're going to be taking a look at a Adi Fluoretta deck that I've been working on. Some stuff finally dropped in price, so I was able to grab some uh, very, very fun little tools. Uh, this is obviously not the best Adi Fluoretta deck in the world, I just really like uh, the set. It is very nice, and thanks to a couple people in the discord talking about the set it kind of reignited me wanting to actually make something for the deck uh so let's jump right into it uh, i wanted to mainly focus the combos around yue uh, she is just like really adorable she is one of the most awesome characters in there uh we are obviously not running some of the more expensive double rares uh, even though like she's she's a double rare but she came down in price uh i got these for like a buck 50 each so really really nice uh, even the other, like the level one engine, which I know a lot of people are running if they're doing the Adi Fretta builds, uh, even this is not that expensive. The main thing is that it requires this particular UA from the trial deck. And even, but this is also like, I think it's a 70 cent or something at the time of, the, of recording this. So it's not the worst in the world to be able to make something for this finally. Uh, so a lot of the good cards from the trial deck, as well as just some really interesting tech cards overall. Uh, but I'm going to try to explain my reasonings for each of them in here. Uh, and obviously, if you want to make this deck, feel free to make whatever changes you want to. I'm going to recommend some potential changes uh, as I go through the deck, but let's just jump right into it. Uh, obviously, we firstly have the last Vampire UA. It's a 3295. This is from the trial deck. When this card is placed on stage from your hand, you may pay the cost, which is discard. Oh, uh, no, sorry, not discarding. Uh, I gotta get used to reading this effect of sacking another character. So you, uh, you put another tortoise character from stage into your winning room. And if you do, put the top card of your clock into your stock. Very nice uh, stock healer. When this card attacks, you can pay three and pitch two. If you do, deal three damage to your opponent. I felt this was, even for a trial deck card, this is really cool. I felt it was very necessary to uh, include and just, uh, once again, UA. So let's go. The level three combo of the deck is tremendous power UA. I didn't realize the potential like value of this card until I looked at it a bit further. It is a three, two, seven, five. But if you have two or more other tortoise characters, this gets 3,500 power, making her a base 11 K. And this card cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects. So she has the hex proof. So when she attacks or people try people can't bounce her she can't be targeted for like abilities that would rest her or negate damage and stuff like that so it's very very nice uh, on attack if you have the golden vampire princess which is this choice trigger right here uh, if you have that in play you can pay one and sack a tortoise character or not sorry sorry i got the two mixed uh, this this is discard a, a tortoise character from hand, not sack on field. Sorry. There's another effect in here that you sack on field, so my brain is like twisting those around because I don't want to autopilot when I get to those, but I'm fucking up anyway. Uh, oh, sorry. She also heals one on play, just stating. Uh, you can pay one, pitch a tortoise character on attack. If you do, this gets the following ability until the end of your opponent's next turn. Uh, up to one time per turn. Uh, when damage dealt by this card or the character facing this card is canceled, you may deal two damage to your opponent. So very nice there for uh, offensively, a little bit of cancel burn, uh, but also for the next turn, if you somehow, if you cancel damage coming at you, you can also try to burn your opponent. So just really nice there. Once again, because of the hex proof, it becomes kind of an annoying thing for your opponent to have to deal with. They can't just bounce it off the field unless it's like a worldwide bounce effect, but that's whatever. Uh, two copies of this to be acknowledged Shea. I feel this needed to be in the deck. Uh, it's a 3-2-95. And because I wanted this specific card in the deck, I added more green. And in the process of adding more green, I found another fun card, and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, when this card is placed on stage or hand, all characters in your opponent's center stage get negative 2k power till end of turn. It doesn't target, so Hexproof doesn't matter with this. It's just a global, all three of their center stage get negative 2k, which is really nice. When this card is placed on the stage from your hand, you can pitch two cards from your hand to the waiting room. If you do, your opponent puts all of their stock into their waiting room and puts the same number of cards from the top of their deck into their stock. Uh, the Buns for Luck event, but on a character. And there's other level threes throughout the game that do uh, effects similar. Typically, it's just like a pay an extra stock or something, which is perfectly fine. I want this in here more for the threat of it 
And as long as my opponent sees that I have this, that they're going to be a little bit wary and they're going to try to play their stock accordingly and not try to, you know, just get like 10 or 12, you know, clean stock. And then I punish them hard with this. She comes down with the band hammer, just bam. Uh, so if nothing else, I felt this was a necessity to run for that threat. I've noticed that with a lot of decks, it, effects like that are very necessary. But like I said, in the process of adding, the, uh, trying to add green for this card specifically, I came across another fun tech card. So, and we have Ass in Face, 3285 towards the New World Tio. If your waiting room has two or less climaxes, this gets minus one level in your hand. When this card is placed on stage from your hand, you can put the top card of your clock into your waiting room. So early play healer. Uh, this is only like a buck 30, buck 50 double rare at the time of recording this. Uh, when this card attacks, if you have four or more other tortoise characters, this gets 3k power till end of turn, making her an 11-5. And when, uh, during this card's battle, when the damage you receive is not canceled, so on the defensive side, uh, if the damage is not canceled, she gets plus 4k until end of turn. So even though she, draw, like on, on your turn, she can still have a decent amount of buff. But say it comes around to your opponent's turn and she does and she's down to eight five your opponent does have to be careful if they uh if the damage gets canceled or not uh as to she might automatically just shoot up to a 12 five without them being prepared for it so uh, always be prepared to use protection uh, <laughs> and that is going to be it for the level threes we only had uh two four six i only had 10 level threes in here but we have some very fun little uh, level two tech cards. Uh, we have this coaxing UA, just kind of as a, a character to attack with, with level two, but it is a two one sixty five during your turn. This gets 1500 power for each of your other tortoise characters. Uh, with a full field, she can become a 12 five. And she also has tortoise character from hand encore. Uh, so you can kind of mess around with a little bit of the those numbers. So even if you're like missing one character or something you can still get to an 11k with her which is still very still very acceptable um if i'm doing my math right if i fuck up on that number i'm sorry uh but just a little bit extra there uh, just really nice one copy of battle practice ua i felt this is very necessary for some stuff later on especially with uh the level three all of your level three or higher characters in front of this card get plus 2k power uh i you could bump this up to two copies just stating but like i said i got some fun tech um, and make it so where this is a, do math again, 11K, this can become a 13K. So just very nice. Uh, also it pays for itself because on play from stage to hand, if you have four or more other tortoise characters, you can choose a tortoise character in your waiting room and put it into your stock. So it pays for the one stock it, you needed uh, to play her to begin with. So very cool. And it's like, it's free. Why the fuck not? So here's one of the cool tech cards, but until I get to the level one engine, it's not gonna make any sense, but let's just go with it. A uh, 214K Swimsuit Shea, one fan service. I'm trying to distract my opponent. Come on, you gotta play You gotta play the mind games too, right? It has an act ability of rest two of your characters. All of your characters get plus one soul till end of turn. We will be coming back to this. It's gonna make much more sense later on. Uh, one copy of Full of Curiosity Mio. I felt this was a little bit necessary. It is a memory backup. Uh, it's a 3K backup with a memory kick to the character that you uh, use it with. So really nice there, especially if you do have like the TO or one of your other level threes, especially like say the UA uh, on field and you, just, you want to have some kind of insurance. You could bump this up to two, uh, but let's continue. So next, uh, so that's for the level twos. Uh, for the level ones, we have a 10500 Spirit Magic UA, and even though this is a costless level one, it does have a crit trigger, just throwing that out there. Uh, when this is placed on stage from your hand, you may pay the cost, if you, uh, which is discarding one card. If you do choose a level zero or lower character in your waiting room and put it in any position of your stage. I'm gonna go ahead and state right now because this is pivotal to your level one combo. Nine times out of 10, you're gonna be trying to get this uh, to try to put it into memory, basically. So that's why, but we'll come back to that in a second. You do have like, uh, if you need your brainstormer, you can grab that. If you wanna grab some other interesting little tech cards, you can, but once again, nine times out of 10, that card is there to get this UA. Uh, it also has a tap ability. Choose one character in your opponent's center stage and that character gets negative 2K power uh, until the end of their turn. So just really good to make certain you can try to get over some characters. Uh, even more fun with this next one, this level one, Peaceful Morning Calorie is a 104K. 
When this is placed in the stage from your hand, if you have another tortoise character, she gets 2k in general. So she's a 106k. Just very nice, even if it's only for one turn. The second ability is where it kind of has the more utility. On attack, if the character facing is level 2, this gets 6k power to end of turn. So it is a level 2 slayer, uh, but once again, just gets very, very big. She can end up becoming a 12k. If you use, like, the spirit magic or something, she can rival those level 2s up to uh, 14k. So, really cool there. Now, the other level, or the other uh, climax combo of the deck is this level 1, Composure of a Wife UA. So, 103k. Uh, and this particular one is got a plethora of really fun things to go with. Before I state any of the effects, it combos with a plus 2 soul. Aftertaste of a kiss. So, just really fun really crazy uh but yeah so this in particular has a couple very fun effects when damage dealt by this card is cancelled you may return this card to your hand so very much aaron jaeger bounce back shenanigans and that's once again that's if the damage gets cancelled but with the climax which is going to come up in a second here uh she'll be a if you play the plus two soul she's going to be a three soul also, she is a costless level zero with a soul trigger icon as well. Just throwing that out there because you do have choice trigger in the deck. Um, so you're swinging with like three for her. And if it gets canceled, you just bounce her back at the end of the turn because the climax combo when damage dealt by this card is canceled. So once again, they kind of overlap there. So the bounce back effect is also tied to the climax combo in general uh, up to one time per turn. Uh, if the plus two soul is in play, and you have special lover UA in your memory, which is the level zero. It puts itself in there very easily. Choose up to two tortoise characters in your waiting room. Put them into your stock in any order. So you just get two stock for free on top of, I say for free, but you get two stock on for the combo on top of her stock as well, which is three. Uh, so you'll get three stock. Look at, then you look at up to four cards from the top of your deck. Choose one tortoise character amongst them, reveal it to your opponent, put it into your hand, put the rest into your waiting room. So let's do the math for all of this. You're getting three. If the, if you cancel, this bounces back to hand. You also get an additional two stock and you get to dig through the top four cards of your deck to add a tortoise character back to your hand. This is really, really crazy. Now, a lot of people are going to be like, but you, you know, but you have to cancel to get all of this. And to that I say, fuck it. If they just ate like three or four damage, that's still a win. Like to me, in my mind, there's no downside with this. If you, if you, if the damage sticks, if three or four damage or more sticks, fuck it. Who cares? And if it does cancel, you, you get all, you get her back to hand to try again the next turn. You, you get all the stock necessary to do a lot of other shenanigans. You just can pay for characters for days. And then you get to craft your hand how you want to, which is really, really nice. And this, this uh, combo is why I was talking about the swimsuit Shea. If you use her effect, all of your characters get plus one soul till end of turn. So by uh, level one, you can only do three soul, but or outside of whatever triggers you get, obviously. Uh, but level two and onward, if you drop the swimsuit Shea, you can be swinging for a minimum of four soul with every single one of these UAs. Sometimes it's worked out for me, sometimes it hasn't. But for the most part, it's just really fun. Because once again, if your opponent eats four damage, I mean, that's a win, no matter what. Let, let's be real. But if, if they don't cancel the three or the four damage, depending on... Obviously, you, you, you use the act and the, and the soul bump based on the what's going on in the game you try to play accordingly so if you need to if you see your opponent has like uh probably probably not a lot of climaxes in waiting room you probably don't need to do the four damage i would say just do the three but if you see that they're that they have a lot of climaxes in the waiting room why not push for more damage even if you don't have a lot of these uas on the field like you got one maybe uh swing with your other characters and try to push for as much damage as possible and, you know, it could really turn out into your benefit. So just throwing that out there and let's move on with life. Then we have one singular backup, uh, or not one singular, but uh, two copies of this other backup. Nice shot, Hajime. When you use this, it's a 1K backup, so it's, it's very negligible, but you run it for the first effect. 
When you use a backup, you can pitch two, or when you use this card's backup, you can pitch two cards from hand. Choose one of your opponent's characters with a level higher than your opponent's level, and then put it into their memory. The only other anti-change that I could find was red. Was, uh, I wanted a reverser that had it, uh, but I'll show it on screen now. It was this Tio, uh, and it's a memory kick anyway, so it does the same as the Hajime, it doesn't matter. But I did want to run some kind of anti-change, uh, but I didn't want to splash red for having to being able to summon the to since i'm already doing yellow green for this for the swimsuit uh shenanigans anyway so i put the back up if you want to add red in yourself and put the to to have a much i will say that's a much better anti-change in my mind but once again it's the threat showing that you have it you know makes your opponent have to do different things all right, so that's it for the level ones. We're getting into the level zeros. The very first thing I know people are gonna be like, why are you running the trial deck brainstormer? Uh, because I'll show it on screen now, the fucking level zero Kauri brainstormer from the set is like anywhere between seven and $12. And I didn't like any of the other brainstormers personally. So fuck it, we're gonna run this one. Fresh out of the bath Kauri from the trial deck. When your character's trigger check reveals a climax, look at the top card of your deck and put it on the top or bottom of your waiting room. This is much more useful if you trigger a gold bar, because then it lets you, you can look and you can decide then if you want to, uh, uh, if you want to blind stock or not from a gold bar trigger. But that, that's if you're running gold bar, just stating that's more the use of it. Uh, then it has a, the brainstorm pay one, tap self, mill five for each climax, uh, draw one card. You're not trying to get as much advantage off of this as you are trying to get advantage off of the UA primarily. And you have better cards in the deck to facilitate the resource engine. So this is mostly just for deck speed. Like if you if you just need to go through the deck, like you need to mill and you need to go through, that's more what this is for than anything. But I wanted to include a brainstormer, so. Uh, but like I said, there's a better one, but I mean, hell, if I, if I could run that Kauri, I would be running also the Gurren Logan fusion combo thingy that they have. Because the other parts of the combo are cheap as fuck, but this is no. Uh, then we have Summer Beach UA. I'm only running two copies of this because I wanted to include the other Climax Swapper from the Trial Deck just to have a little bit more green. But it's a 0025. When this is placed on stage from your hand, you can pitch a Climax and sack one other character from your stage. Uh, if you do choose a climax in your waiting room, return it to your hand. So it's a climax swapper, but you don't have to pay stock, uh, whereas this one does, but that's whatever. Special Lover UA. This is a really good one. It's a 002K. It's a drop searcher. On play, pay one, pitch one, search your deck for a tortoise character. It's really good value in general just for being the drop searcher from the trial deck. So already amazing card. Uh, but when this card becomes reversed in battle, if your memory has two or less cards, you may put this into your memory. So you get to do a little bit of compression with that. And putting herself into the memory is what puts the uh, climax combo effect of this UA live. So it's a necessity to begin with, and it's not that expensive. That's why I say if you summon it off of the spirit magic UA, you're just going to ram with it. Put it into memory if you don't have one already, and then you swing with the level one UA for the combo. So. Uh, four copies of Adorable Maids, Yue, Miyu, and Kauri is a 002k. During your opponent's turn, if all of your characters are Tortoise, this gets four, uh, this gets 2k, making her a 4k. So, really nice there. At the beginning of your opponent's attack phase, you may put the top card of your deck into your waiting room. If that card is a Tortoise character, you may move this card to an open position of your center stage. So, you can run from stuff that's bigger, or because she'll be like a 4k, you can run in front of stuff if you want, just stating. Um... But yeah, for the most part, uh, just really cool middle runner. Thought it was nice. Also, maids. Really cute, adorable. Can't go wrong. Two copies of Endearing Girl Miu. This is a double rare, but it was very, very cheap for some reason. It was like a buck and some change. Uh, when this card is placed on stage from your hand, you can discard one card. If you do, reveal the top card of your deck. Choose one level X or lower character in your waiting room. Return it to your hand. X is equal to the level of the revealed card. Very easy to use this to get back the special lover UA, the level one, whatever. Just really good card. And on attack, you can give a Taurus character a thousand power. So whatever. Doesn't matter. Good card. <laughs> Two copies of Important Friend Shea. Uh, when this is placed in stage of hand, you can give another Tortoise character 1500 power till end of turn. And she is the on play, pay one pitch a climax to salvage back a climax. So from the trial deck as well. So if you buy the trial deck and you get the 
special lever UAs, you're also going to get these, it doesn't matter, as well as the level three. Uh, and that is going to be it with four copies of the Golden Vampire Princess, the Choice Trigger, and four copies of Aftertaste of a Kiss, the Plus Two Soul. Uh, the other thing for this, like I said, I talked about the Brainstormer, uh, the Reverser. Uh, the only other one that I wanted to mention was uh, I'm not running the fucking expensive Hajime. I'm going to show on screen now. It's like $12 and some change. At one point, it hit like fucking 20 Y'all were fucking stupid to buy that. Anyway. Um, no, it, it it's too expensive. I wanted to run the level... Th the, there's another level 3 UA instead of the TO for the early play. But for the other parts of that UA, you had to discard the level 3 Hajime. Or not the level 3. The level 0 Hajime for the cost of it. And I'm like, fuck that. We're not, we're not doing that. So... Uh, that's why I have the TO instead of the other early play UA. Uh, so yeah, that is going to be it for the deck. That's everything that I wanted to cover. Uh, it's really cool. It's a fun deck. It's probably not going to make waves, but I like it. It's been fun to test out. So, uh, But with that, thank you all very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want. If, uh, if not, hey, thanks for stopping by to check out the video. And we'll see you all on the flip side. Peace out for now.